Okay, guys, we back for part two and getting rid of this trash. Yes, honey, yes. My husband gonna be complaining because he's gonna say, Dog, where have you been keeping this stuff at? I thought you cleaned up that room. Well, I did, but I mean, you know, we, we, we creative with our stuff. We as women, we have learned to be creative in hiding things, disguising things, and all of that. So, but we don't tell them our little secrets, though. They don't need to know all that. Anyway, we get back over here into this trash. I'm going to move right on in, and this is basically body care and it's got a couple makeup items in it so the first thing we're gonna pull out is this bath and body works paris amore shower gel y'all see i didn't i've used my stuff up till i can't get nothing up out of it. my husband he'll throw it away when it's still like two showers or three showers left in it but not me i use my stuff i enjoyed it it's got a nice scent let me see yeah it's a good scent for work it's not real loud um and you know y'all know these bath and body works things you know they they get your body clean that's if you bathe regularly uh, <laughs> at least i hope you do <laughs> anyway here is okay this is old packaging from bath and body works and this is orange sapphire and it was the spritz i also had the, have the uh, body lotion and uh, the shower gel in this. But sometimes I just use the spritz and I'm just taking it along. And just when I want to refresh or after I wipe myself down, especially in this heat here in Memphis, um, I'll just spray this on just to, you know, mm, give me a quick little scent. So, yeah, that's something. I tote that kind of stuff in my bag. This is also old packaging. It was the Cotton Blossom from Bath & Body Works. And it smells really good, too. It smells very clean. These are all good scents to wear to work, mind you. Uh, moving on, I have an empty bottle of the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. Um, there's two of these. There's this, the original, and then there's the one. It has a blue top, and it's for uh, removing... That one is for removing your waterproof makeup and all of that. I don't prefer that one, and I have them, and I'm getting ready to give them away because I don't really like that 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 one. Um, I, I just got a, it's a different texture to me. It's oil mixed with oil, and I just like the plain. Um, for me, it works well. Um, I use this in the morning when I don't have time to go through my entire skincare routine because I'm one of these people I get up very early but I piddle around the house and most days I act like I have no place to be I'm trying to give my husband a hint that I want ready to retire now but he says I have to wait so what does a sister do she just goes ahead and does what she has to do but on those mornings <laughs> when i don't feel like doing my entire full routine in the morning and i'm lazy i just do this because all i'm doing is getting off the nighttime products my moisturizers and serums and stuff like that that i put on my face to go to bed at night so this works really really well for that but you can also use it to remove your makeup i have also used it for that you know um i use um something else to remove my makeup but um this also helps it, it, it does okay for removing your makeup i wouldn't use it if you got on a full face of heavy makeup and this is not gonna work but if you just got on some light makeup or what have you it will get it off but you still need to wash your face and you know do your thing after you use that uh moving on to i have the hourglass veil mineral primer love it love it love it this is the small one and it costs 19 dollars in sephora i have not invested in a big one yet i've got a couple of these um but i really 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 like the mineral veil it makes your makeup go on and look very smooth it's not uh rough it's not greasy um it does the job very very well so i really like this and this is something that i'll be repurchasing Moving on, um, I had another Estee Lauder. I think I talked about this one in the first one. It's just a fill, a serum that's specifically for fine lines and things of that nature. Again, I don't have fine lines, so I don't know if it fills them, but I can say that it's a, it's a good, it's a good serum. Um, but again, 
it's a high-end brand it's pricey and I have other serums that I don't necessarily have to buy Estee Lauder but I will repurchase it when I'm ready to repurchase it how about that <laughs> Okay, moving on. I have a deluxe size sample of Corez Wild Rose Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial. This is just a brightening sleeping moisturizer and it's thick. I'm not sure if I can get any out because as y'all know, I be using my stuff. See, I can't get nothing else out of here. But it's a cream. It's a little thick. It's a thicker cream. I really really like it I will probably invest in the full size of this it makes my skin feel soft and moisturized the next day um, and it's something that you put on at nighttime to sleep in because it specifically says that it's a sleeping facial so yeah I will probably uh, it's for all skin types uh, y'all know Carez is a good line as far as facial care so I will probably at some point invest in the night uh in the full size version of this it's, it's very moisturizing very emollient my skin is soft like a baby's butt the next morning and all of that next i have the maybelline lash sensational mascara this is one of my favorite mascaras let me show you the wand that's the wand on it uh it it, it lifts it kind of curls um, I, it doesn't take a lot of effort to get it. I don't know if you can see the teeth on it, but the teeth are fine. So you can get really get in to your the base of your eyelashes and pull and lift. And it's really, really, really. I got a couple co-workers of mine that I that are hooked on this for a drugstore brand. This is one of my top favorites. So yeah, I've already repurchased that. Then I have the Lancome Advanced Genique. Wait, Genific, Genific, Genific. It's French. Y'all know it's French. Um, it's also a youth activating concentrate, and it's a serum. It's for all skin types. For optimal results, use daily, AM and PM, under your regular skincare routine. This is also a facial serum. Works very well. I'm currently using, I had gotten, because uh, I think I did a 100 point perk on this and I got two and I'm currently using the second one. But that's what the little, it's the little dropper thing. And as you can see it there on my hand. Um, it's very lightweight, it's very moisturizing, it's very silky feeling, makes your skin feel good. Um, so this is a pricey little thing. I want to say this little thing costs upwards of like 60 bucks. So I don't know about repurchasing it, but it's a possibility. But I did enjoy using the product and I have the second one that I'm currently using now. I use that morning and night. Then I have... True Blue Spa uh, from uh, Bath and Body Works. Sudsing Foot Scrub Fine and Sandy. I use this to scrub my feet in the shower. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, gritty. Ooh, see that? It's kind of gritty. And it suds. And it's like an exfoliant for your feet. You don't necessarily have to you buy this. You can just use your regular exfoliating soaps for your feet. But this is specifically made for the feet. And um, I enjoy using it. Um, it gets the job done. It, it, it gets all the dead skin off of the bottom of my feet. Especially after... I, in the summertime, you're walking around in flip-flops and you have, don't have a chance to get into and get a pedicure regularly um, or sooner than you would normally in the fall and winter. Um, this is a good alternative. Very good alternative. Now, let me just... Okay. Had to get something to get the, get the stuff off. How y'all doing out there today? I hope you are doing well. Moving on, this is the packaging for the Estee Lauder Double Wear Waterproof All Day Extreme Wear Concealer. I just wanted to show you the packaging. I hauled this a couple months ago. Love it. I love it. This I will repurchase over and over and over and over again. 
this concealer is truly waterproof it's sweat proof um, it does not crease it's not a very thick but it's thick enough for a concealer I don't like my concealers to be real real thick because like you like I said I have trouble with creasing so if I can get something that's not thick but thick if that makes sense just that right tone of thickness this is it darling this is it um, comes in a variety of shades y'all know Estee Lauder is big on having an abundance of different shades this runs um, I want to say around 28 bucks or something like that but it's well worth the money well worth the money I will repurchase this I'm currently using this now as a matter of fact I have it on under my eyes right now that is this and I've had this on all day long all day long and right now it's after seven o'clock at night time so yes moving on we moving on we trying to I ain't trying to have this video real long we going into perfumes now um what is this the turquatic by Mac everybody knows about this I really really like this scent I was late to the party on this one um, but now that I've been at the party, we're going to party hardy, hardy, party hardy. This is a smaller one. I do have a bigger one, but I like it. I can wear it to work. It's not overbearing. Um, y'all, ooh, yes, y'all know how it smells. So, yeah, that's a good one. Moving on to another perfume. This is Juicy Couture. I purchased this for 10 bucks at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. This is a small bottle. Juicy Couture, uh, it has like a hint of musk, but it does smell very, very, very good. But this is a nighttime fragrance. It has a heavy undertone to it, so I wouldn't necessarily wear this during the day or to work, but it's a good one. So Then moving on to, let's see, I got this. This is Orange Sanguine. I hope I'm saying that right by Atelier Cologne. And this came in a Sephora play box a couple months back. And it smelled like orange perfume. I wore this. It, it, it's alright. That's all I can say. Yeah, it, it, it's alright. It has an alcohol t uh, smell to it. And I think that's what turned me off. But I wanted to go ahead and finish up the, the little salmon. These little things like this. I just put the whole thing on because it you ain't got much in there. So I just dive it all over me and then I don't worry about cologne the rest of the day. But I can tell you that this particular one is not overbearing and it's not really, really loud. So if that helps. Then moving on, I have another one, Clean Reserve. It's a perfume. It's got a woody musk, but I can say that it smells clean. Yeah, and it's, uh, this is, that's it right there. And it, um, do we focus? There we go. And it, um, it's good to wear to work. So, this is not one, something that I would purchase. Um, I would not, I mean, it was, it was, it was all right. Like I say, it, it, you got to wow me if you're going to be a high end. Wow me. And then you get my cheese. <laughs> Moving on to. Mark Jacobs Mod Noir. I have the, I don't know where the doohickey is, but and anyway, that's what it looks like. Y'all have seen this. It's a nice perfume. Um, Mark Jacobs has some really nice perfumes. I don't like all of them, and this one again for me was okay. I was glad it was just a sample, but it was okay. And then this is the uh, Pleasures by Estee Lauder Deluxe Size Sample. These are all things that I just kind of like just, you know, throw in my purse and go and just, you know, put them on or whatever, you know. But, it, I mean, y'all know how Pleasure smells. It's, it's, that's something, you know, that's an old, not real, real old, but it's, it's been around. That Pleasures has been around a while. Then I have uh, Light Blue by Dolce Gabbana. Everybody's familiar with light blue. This is one of my favorites. Yes. 
My husband loves this on me and I finished the bottle. It takes me a while to finish perfumes and colognes because I have a nice little collection because I like them. I don't like smelling the same way all the time, every day, all the time. Mm -mm. No. Now we're going to move into hair care. I have the Curl's Daughter Twee. I hope I'm saying that right. Color Care Hydrating Conditioner. It's got shea butter. Biotin to strengthen, calendula purifies, and shea butter to moisturize. I really enjoy, oh, there's still some in there. I really enjoy using this, and it's for color treated hair. And this was um, a sample that I received with a purchase of Carol's Daughter. This is something that I probably will repurchase because um, it did hydrate my hair very well. Um, and my hair wasn't limp sometimes because I have fine hair and I put a hydrating conditioner in it It makes my hair limp, but my hair is hydrated, but it's just limp It won't really hold a curl or anything, but this didn't do that. So at some point I probably will pick this up Then moving on to it's a 10 miracle leave-in. This is a deluxe size sample y'all all know about it. it's uh, a 10 Huge, huge leave-in uh, moisturize, uh, leave-in, yeah, leave-in conditioner. Love it. We'll continue to use it. Moving on to Silk Elements Straight Edges Edging Gel. Look, do y'all have this problem? I buy edging gel, a lot of different brands, and I always get the same effect. They start out really soft and jelly, and they work well. And then after using them for a little bit, they kind of go hard, and and they just, they like sticky, gummy. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I made it through this one. It was okay. But it's still towards the end of this jar. It got that sticky gummy. I don't like sticky gummy on my head. I, I don't like to see the stuff in there. I want you to lay down and do what you're supposed to do. I don't want all of that gumminess going on. But towards the end, just like all the others, it did that. But I have come across one that has not done it. And so that's the one I'm going to stick with. And we're going to get to that one in a minute. Then I have Olive Oil ORS Formerly Organic Root Stimulator Edge Control. Superior Hold and Shine. See, that's the thing. They get that gummy and the shine go away. They always say they have shine, but I don't get that. You know, after I've used it. And I don't care how tight I put the top on or all of that. I still get the same effect after a while of using it. And look, I didn't even finish this. Look at that. Because I ain't like it. Because it went right away starting several uses after it just started going gummy. See, look how. And they go hard. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't like that. I don't like it. So, I didn't even finish this. I would not, um, I wouldn't recommend this. Um, and there's some folk out there that like this. And if you like this, don't, you know, I, it just didn't work for me. I'm not saying, you know, it won't work for you. I'm just saying, I'm looking for something to wipe my hands on. I'm just saying it don't it didn't work for me and my hair. But if you have fine hair or whatever, I don't know if you would want to use this. I'm I'm just I'm just keeping it real. I, I'm just keeping it real. But cream of nature with argan oil, perfect edges, perfect hold, exotic shine, and makes hair stronger. Hair gel. Y'all know I music box. I think it was my first or second essence. Beauty box. I said Essence Music Box. Then Lord have mercy. <laughs> Y'all, I'm thinking about the Essence Music Festival. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. The Essence Beauty Box. It was either the first or the second one I received. And I was so excited to get this because I had been looking at it and I was getting ready to purchase it, but I got it and it was the full size. Let me tell y'all something. This is the stuff for me. This is the stuff for me. This stuff stays gel-like to the very last drop. This is my second one. Yeah, this is my second one. I have already gone through one of the the one that I originally got from Essence. I've already gone through that and purchased it. This is the one I purchased. But it stays the way it's supposed to be to the end. I don't know what they got in this stuff to make it do that, 
but it works and it gives me that shine you know I don't have that gumminess I don't have my hair if I want to comb my hair and just have it where certain parts of it is laying down I can get that with this love it love it love it yes honey yes Go get you some and try it out and let me know what you think about it. Moving on to, we almost done, y'all. Ooh. Look, I'm all out the, <laughs> I'm all out the uh, thing. I'll, I'll, I'll do a review on that. I'm not going to talk about that now. These are some eyebrow products and a lip gloss. I got this Jazz by Diamond Cosmetics lip gloss. And I got it in a beauty box. I believe it was Birch Box prior to me stopping that subscription. I never liked this and I'll tell you why. It smells like paint thinner. I can't do it. I can't do it. And this is full and it came in that box and it's going in the garbage. I had thrown it, had put it away in my collection, but like I said, I've been going through my collection because I've been moving and reorganizing things in the house and all of that, and I came across, and I'm like, what are you still doing in here? If you still smell like paint thinner, you're going away, and it still smells like paint thinner. It smelled like paint thinner the first time I opened it up out that box, and for that reason, I'm not liking it at all, and I don't want it, and it's going away. It's going in the garbage. Then I have the Maybelline Master Shape Eye Studio Brow Pencil. Brow Pencil is supposed to be on that end. As you can see, it's broke off. And then it has a spoolie on that end. And I got two of these. I got it in dark brown. And you see, I tried to use it. And then I also have it in... Uh soft brown and as you see that's broke up and I'm just sharpening sharpening sharp that's the problem that I had with these it was not the product the product worked fine it's the pencils the the these continuously sharpening it and it'll break off like you see that the whole thing the whole tip just breaks off um or you're just sharpen, 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 sharpen. So you're literally just sharpening your pencil away. And that's why these are so short. And I just got tired of doing that and frustrated. So for those reasons, I would not be repurchasing these. And the final one is this Essence uh, eyebrow pencil. And I think this is in the color dark brown. Um, but Essence, you know, they sell it in Ulta. Essence. This is their uh, eyebrow pencil. I really, really, really do enjoy losing it. Look. It's not hard. It gives you good payoff, good color. Um, so, yeah. So, I have already repurchased this and put it in my rotation. And that, guys, is it for my trash. Oh, my trash. I have. What is that back there? Oh. I'll do a review on that. I'm not going to talk about that. Anyway, that's it for my trash. Thank you guys for watching and hanging in here with me while I went through my trash and told you what I thought of these products. I hope that some of it was insightful. I hope that you heard something about something that maybe you want to try. Maybe you were thinking of trying or maybe you was like, oh, oh, I don't even want to fool with that because guess what, Donnie Wani said. Because <laughs> y'all know I keep it real with you. I ain't getting ready to lie. I ain't getting ready to tell you nothing that is going to go against my word and my integrity. Because that's how I was raised. Your word is your bond. Okay? So, thank you for watching. To all my new subscribers, thank you. Welcome, champions. Because um, it's down and wanting time. Everybody's a champion. We are here to uplift and have fun, baby. And believe me, you got the right one right here. Because I have a whole lot of fun in everything I do. Everything I do. Because life is too dark on short. To my ride or die, people. Y'all know how I feel about you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to It's Donnie Wani Time. And until next time, be kind, be gracious, be good. Mwah! Smooches!